Hi everyone. Um, today I want to uh, tackle junk, use it or lose it. I'm not sure which um, week it is. I've got three left, but this is the concertina um, file one. Um, now, a few of um, the ladies that have been taking part have made fabulous um, little concertina file folders using envelopes, and that's what I'm going to do here today. Um, I think it was um, Samarita, uh, Samara from Crafty Samarita that started it off, and then Betsy Doodle did one, and also um, Marsha from ZC Creations. So I'll put links to their videos below. Um, but I've just taken um, some of these A5 envelopes here. These have been hanging around my house for absolutely ages, and they've faded, they've lost their sticky as well. Um, so I decided to use those because they were about the right size and I'm using um, washi, not washi tape, um, duct tape um, to just strengthen the edges which I think was Marsha's idea. Um, I started off using this fluorescent pink and I've finished the roll now so I'm using this one here. I've got one that's um, just got some on the bottom so I'm just going to show you how I am doing that. Um, to make life easier for myself, I have measured um, the width of the duct tape. This um, one here is two inches. This one here is a centimetre. Um, so I've made some marks. I've put an inch um, either side and drawn a line because that's where um, I can use that as a guide to put my duct tape. And I've done a centimetre um, at the top and the bottom. Now I've taken the top, I've glued the flap down um, with just using some, some Pritt stick. Oh, hang on a second, let me just grab a fresh envelope so that I can show you, um, bear with me. Right, so I've put Pritt stick just along the flap here and glued it down, um, used my bone folder to um, make it completely flat as well. So I've already done that to the envelopes. And then I've cut mine to six inches this way, just so that they're all the same length. And then I'm just applying duct tape to all of the edges just to strengthen it before I put it together. So I shall apply some duct tape here, duct tape here, um, and then some front and, and back and just wrap it over. Let me just show you on one of these. So this has got the duct tape here on the front and the back and I've used the, the line as a guide um, and then just um, just wrapped it wrapped it round, wrapped it over as you can see, see there. So my um, envelopes are nice and strong. So I'm just going to do um, the same um, with, with this one. Um, in fact, let me show you. Um, just show you how easy it is. So, so that I don't waste any of the duct tape, I'm lining it up to the edge here. Um, there we go. You need a good sharp pair of scissors if you're using duct tape because it is quite tricky um, to, to cut. But you know, the good thing is it's very, very durable. So wrap that over like like that and then with the smaller thinner duct tape let me just show you what I'm doing at this top top edge so again I'm lining it up let me just there we go go all the way along if I'm going to, to do this and um, make a pretty cover I just want it to last as, as long as I possibly can so then I'm just going to wrap it over the other side like so start in the middle and then you can feel where the where the edge is and then I should do the same with the other side and then I shall do the same with the with the bottom right so that's had the um, duct tape applied to all of the edges and now what I want to do um, is just apply some of this red score tape and then I've applied some of the red super strong score tape to the um, inside edge of the the, the duct tape um, and you can see here that I've already um, put these together so um, it's just gone on the on the back um, no need to put it on the other side as well so this one here you can see will just um, secure to the back there and that will be my finished piece so let me just take the score tape off and I'll show you how um, I put whoops Daisy sorry I've just knocked the not the camera there so let me just take this off make sure you use a, um, a bone folder to score the, score the tape down first because it just makes it easier for you to peel the backing off which can sometimes be just a, a bit tricky and then I'm just adding some um, 
dry glue glue stick to the inside as well just for some um, added strength there we go that will do nicely um, and then let's have a look oh here comes Louis he might have to go out if he's going to become a pain so right there we go make sure that I've got the opening the right way up and then I'm just going to sandwich these together Oop. let's just make sure that I've got it um, lined up properly and there we go and and that's that so there we go you can see that um, let's just give that a good good rub Yes, you want to get your paws in it, don't you? And this is nice and strong, nice and sturdy. There's my, my pockets. And so now what I, I want to do um, is add my outside cover. Now I have got a piece of mixed media paper um, here. And I've cut it to the to the width of my envelopes, which was nine nine inches, and I've cut it the full height. Height. I used a piece of A3 mixed media paper, so I've got plenty of room to, to wrap this this round, so which will be secured uh, secured to the outside edge um, there, and then wrapped around and folded over over the top. So I just need to go away now and um, have a think about how I'm going to, to decorate it. Okay, so I've decorated the cover to um, my file folder. That's what it looks like. Um, and I've done a separate video showing how I did this, which I shall leave in the description box below. Um, but what I want to do now is just add some tape to the front and the back of this. Um, to secure it. And I just want to quickly show you how I'm gluing this down. I've glued the one side down to the um, front of this piece of paper so I've got the openings at the top and then I've applied sticky tape and glue which I'm just going to flip over now and glue down. Sorry I'm going to get my head in the way to make sure that I've got that straight so I'm just going to press that down firmly now and that's it. So that's what my um, little file folder looks like. I absolutely love that. And I think what I want to do um, is punch a hole here and put some kind of um, closure through there. Um, I think I'm going to use a brad so that I can um, wrap it round with um, some thread. So I'm going to go away now and have a think about how I can, I can do that. Right, so I've just found um, a decorative brad in a lime green that I think goes really well with the cover. Um, so I've attached that, I've just used my pokey tool um, and then I've poked another hole just below here and I want to um, put some thread to use as my closure. I've already tied a knot in it and I'm using this piece of wire um, as a, a makeshift needle to thread it through. So I'm going through the back. Here we go, pull that through, take the needle out. Um, and then I've got um, another piece of the duct tape here which I'm just going to put on the back just to secure it. There we go, stick that down so that's nice and secure. I don't know whether you can see that in there like, like that. Um, I've put some duct tape across here as well just to strengthen the cover um, even further. And that's so it. let me show you inside. That's what it um, looks like. And because I haven't put the tape right to the edges, so I've um, sort of lined the um, double-sided tape up with the edge of the, the duct tape. That's what's given it um, the concertina effect. So, And it's really, as I say, nice and sturdy and um, ready for my lovely embellishments. So I shall leave the link to Kylie's video um, below and the link to the other ladies' videos as well who have um, done these concertina folders. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that and let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.